I myself, as a mother of three kids, <laughs> three teenagers, I think it's really frustrating when teenagers, you know, have so much energy, especially skaters, you know, they can skate for eight hours and then they go home to mom or dad. And, you know, it might be like a single mom in some suburb that working already like, you know, 12 hours a day. And then she needs to work even more to, to, to pay for skateboards to her 17 year old uh, son or daughter. And uh, so we're working a lot to like teach the, the skaters and give them the opportunity to make their own money so they can, you know, afford and buy their own stuff. So what do what do they do then? Do they like um, become ambassadors of the brand, or how do, does that work? Well, it's uh, not official yet. <laughs> this is like a portal that we are launching in the beginning of 2016. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's gonna be like I think super pop popular. It's the Tip Technology portal. So um, stay tuned. <laughs> I think that's very interesting because we've been talking a lot. I've been writing articles for magazines etc. about how a lot of companies like Airbnb, etc. lets the user make money. And then that becomes suddenly an extra income and also an income for people who maybe hadn't that kind of income before. And I think it's really cool that you're doing that for kids. Yeah. We're talking so much like everywhere about like kids have to learn the value of a dollar. Like yeah. how, what work do I have to do for a dollar? It's not good to give kids, just give them stuff because they don't understand the value of how the system in society works. And this is one example of doing that actually. Yeah, because that's also about building the self-esteem of the kids in the same way as you teach kids to skate and they get to, to challenge themselves. It's the same with money. It's like if you get to make your own money and then, you know, you're so proud. I can see that on my kids. They're working now. My 12 year old daughter, she's been selling stuff, you know, through this uh, panda catalogs. She's mm -hmm. doing good for the animals and the tigers. And, and then also, you know, making enough money to get her own compute to to buy her own computer. Mm. I mean, she's so proud about that. So this, for me, is really close to heart because I, you know, started working when I was, you know, probably 10, <laughs> so grown up in that environment. And I want to give this to other kids. Yeah, Shimei, you and I both started working when we were about 14, Yeah, say? Yeah, I was 14 also. I was cleaning tables at a restaurant. But there's something that happens in your brain when you connect energy to money and I think that also goes a long way in just helping the generations come up to, to, to not feel so entitled to things, to know that I can have whatever I want. I just have to work for it and put out energy. Yeah. And I, I've been talking to a lot of other entrepreneurs. I've been working um, since I was 14, like every year, like all the time. And um, all of the ones I see who have my kind of mentality, like you have to do it yourself. Yeah. I like, put in the time. Yeah. They're like, and we always start talking about that. Yeah. When did you start working as a kid? And they're like, yeah, 12, 14, yeah. 16. <laughs> And it doesn't matter if they had money or not in the family, they started working and that's how they learned and also got a lot of ideas because they're like, okay, if I can make money of this, maybe I can do this as well. Yeah. And they try it out and they become someone who sees it's a business because someone wants to pay for it, yeah. not because I have an idea. <laughs> so it actually be becomes tangible ideas that can be sellable products. Yeah. And I think that's something that a lot of y new entrepreneurs are missing. They don't do that connection between money and the product itself. No, and I really think it's so important you know, to build the self-esteem when you're a kid. So probably it's good that you know, kids start selling stuff and doing stuff helping out and, and actually, you know, get p paid for helping the neighbor with something or already when they're, you know, whatever, five, six years old. I think it's super important also like doing sports from your, and uh, skateboarding is such a good thing to actually build self-esteem. Mm. And I, I really agree because you feel capable. Yeah. You're not dependent on what kind of background you come from. Just doing sports or, or building things, it makes you feel like, you oh, I can do this. Maybe I can do this. And then you try again, and you try again, and you try again. And you build this momentum. And people ask me, I started my first company when I was 18. I started selling my first own products when I was 16. And people are like, why are you doing all of this stuff? You seem so busy. You seem so blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
no, I just built momentum really early, and that makes this today not feel so big. Yeah. It's just a learning curve. Yeah, it's like a good start, you know, to, to and always challenge yourself. I mean, it's fun because and it's fun to fail. I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing that skaters learn really early. Like you fail, fail, fail. And then when you succeed, it's like, yeah, I did it, you know, and everybody in the park is happy for you. And I think it's the same in the entrepreneur environment like here at sub 46 in stockholm i mean everybody knows that you need to fail 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 and, and then everybody's happy for one another when you succeed and it's a giver's gain you know everybody's helping one another and it's it's the same in the parks i mean it's super nice to be out and you just go out in the skate parks and look at the kids i mean they're really nice to one another and supportive